All right, uh, another game that's, uh, uh, in my opinion, reared its ugly head is a group called Restore Passenger Rail, who went through a bit of a bout a while back of super gluing themselves and disrupting motorways in the Wellington region. Yesterday they were at it again outside, I think it was the Terrace Tunnel, wasn't it? And the police are obviously getting frustrated at them and has pointed out that if they continue to disrupt traffic, um, they could be jailed up for up to 14 years. I saw some wag point out, well, there should be a whole lot of people doing 14 years out of the parliamentary protest who bocked off Molesworth Street for weeks, um, and I think they've got a point. But I will say this about Restore Passenger Rail. Unlike a lot of the woke nutters who protest around this country, they're all re- always ready to front up, and unlike Andrea Vance, they're always ready to front up and actually box their corner and come on the platform. So a very warm welcome to James Cockle, who is a spokesperson for Restore Passenger Rail. James, uh, I think it's welcome back, G'day, isn't it? John. It's welcome back, Thank isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. All right, yeah, look, how thank, are you today? I'm good, thanks. Thanks for coming on. You haven't got anyone out disrupting the lives of Wellingtonians today? I don't believe so, not at this moment. All right. Now, James, just for those who don't remember, your group, Restore Passenger Rail, how big is it? Oh, look, we're not going to get into that again, are we, Sean? Yeah, we zero. are. Yeah, we are, because I like zero facts. Members. <laughs> I like zero facts. Zero members of Restore Passenger Rail, because we're not a fucking cosy club, Sean. Okay, you're not a cosy club. But how many of you are there? Oh, look, there's four. Four people, four supporters were arrested yesterday. Now they've been arrested, so I guess we're back down to zero again. (laughs) And how did you get together? James, I just want to refresh people's memories because it's not like you've got a lot of money to spend on PR campaigns and advertising and stuff. True that. (laughs) Um, Are you all members of the Green Party? No. Uh, Have any of you ever been members of the Green Party? Oh, I'm I'm personally a member of the Green Party, and um, I don't know if anyone else is or not. But we we come from a very wide range of backgrounds and people. Well, like there are four of you. It can't be that wide, party, James. So. James, it can't be that wide <laughs> well, if there are only four of you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, exactly. you can tell so you me the one, entire one back here. I so one greenie, one one person from the top party. No, that's you. You're from the top party, aren't you? No, I, I used to work for them. I, I, geez, I think I was a member. I think I got I got strong on to be a member, but it certainly lapsed. Um, okay. Okay, okay right. what about your other members? Where are they from? Are they Green Party members or not? Oh, look, I honestly don't know. Okay. Well, the cops say if you continue to disrupt people, you're up to 40, for 14 years inside. Are you yeah. and your your but, fellow four protesters prepared to, uh, to to live with that? Well, you know, that's an extreme overreach, but we accept the consequences of our actions. Yeah. But we do think it's an extreme overreach, that, that kind yeah. of extreme 14 years. I mean, would you have given 14 years to the land marchers who also block traffic? I don't think the two issues are equivalent, the, James. And I just wonder if there are only well, four of you, what right do you have to disrupt the lives of thousands of New Zealanders, other people, citizens. We're, we we don't just have a right to do it; we have an obligation to do it. I mean, it's a says it's the four part of you. Of democracy says the four of you. Yeah, but says history. It's an essential part of our of our democracy, Sean. There's that four people can protests. stuff up the lives of tens or hundreds of thousands of others. Well, we're not stuffing up the lives. I mean, not, you know, there was a there was a disruption, and it did cause. Irritation and, and frustration to people. Might I have stopped people it. getting to hospital. Too. It may have cost people money. It may have damaged people's That's education. And you don't care That's about a that. Possibility. You don't care about and that. And also, and also, I do care about it. And I, I am. I would be angry if I was in that state. You going to apologise? Well. Is your but group going to apologise to all those people who lives you stuffed up yesterday? No, we're not apologising for our actions. Why would we do it if we were going to apologise for it? Because it was the wrong thing to do and you've damaged other people's lives. You're wrong. It was the right thing to do. We need to take this kind of action. It's the only way that we can get the attention of the media and the, and the government on this essential... Why do the four of you deserve the attention of the media and the government? Because what's happening now is... An there are only four of you, James. Why do you, get, why do you get the right to stuff up other people's lives if there are only four of you? 
because this is a part of our, uh, uh, well, we don't, you know, you, you're telling me I've got the right. I'm not telling you I've got the right to do it. I'm telling you I have an obligation to do it. Why? You what know, are you doing? What has restoring well, passenger rail got to do with anything else? What do you mean with anything else? Okay, well, if you want to know why Restore Passenger Rail's got... You to want to Restore anything, Passenger Rail, catch demand. more trains, James. Yeah, but it doesn't work that way. That's the problem. That's exactly the problem. People are stuck now having to drive cars because of years of government neglect um, of our rail system. No, James, because you know, they like driving cars because they're way more convenient. Flexible that is and liberate bullshit. and liberate. Sean, that is <laughs> James, have you ever noticed how a train people runs on tracks and cars. someone else drives it and only stops at certain places and it only runs at certain times? You know what is lovely about a car? You get in it and you can go anywhere you choose with a the road. There's no timetable. Yeah, you can be flexible. You can alter it. No one comes along in your car and clips a ticket. Right? That's true, but you also have to be at the wheel, stuck in traffic, um, concentrating on what's and going that, on. And that, I guess, is the individual's choice. Stress. That's the individual's choice, right, to do that. But they don't have the choice. Yes, they, they do, James. Yes, they do, James. Relaxing, doing work, doing other things. Yeah. James, don't why don't choice. you let other people decide what they want to do instead of deciding for them? I'm not deciding for them. I just want them to have the option, Sean. They have got the option. No, they don't. Yes, they, they do. They you can catch a train if you want, but trains are limited as to where you've got them. So in some cases, they don't have the choice. I'm never, never going to get a train station to the front door of my house, mate. No, no. And look, there'll still, be, there'll still need to be some people who, who remain on the road. I accept that. But we need a new way of thinking. We can't, we can't go on living beyond our means. I thought this is about trains, but we aren't living behind, beyond our means, James. We are living beyond our means, and we need to start living within our means. And that requires a new way of thinking. And that is Who what, says? Um, what's one thing that restoring passenger rail will help to do and to implement free public transport, which is hugely popular in this country. Why don't you call yourselves the free public transport group? I mean, you could take a vote amongst well, the four of you could. and change that relatively quickly. Yeah, we could. Might take that back to the next AGM. Yeah. James, when are you going to kind of just wake up and get the feeling that you're kind of, most people think you're slightly nutty, you're extremist, and you're really pissing a lot of people off? We are aware of that, but we also know that that effect um, boosts other, other groups. And we know that w we have a moral obligation to do this because we need to start living within our means. Mm. The way we can do that is by consuming less, by sharing what we have. Oh, hang on. This so is about a whole political well. philosophy, isn't it? Well, it's, it's a, it, no, it's, a, it's an objective physical reality is what it is. It's not political. Who are the other There's groups that, that, that you're will, working with and that you hope to support? The reality that we, we will start to live within our means, but that can come uh, because of a collapse or it can become because we choose to do it. And that's the choice. Yeah, James, who are the right other now. groups that you hope to support by doing this? I would love, um, look, I'm not saying they're going to support us, but, you know... You, you've got me on here because uh, I sat down on the road. Have you had anyone from... In fact, this is my fourth appearance on the platform. Is it fourth? Have you had God. anyone from Save Our Trains? Oh, yeah, you and my. I don't know. Save Our Trains have never asked to come on the platform. Well, maybe you should invite them. Mind have you, James, you we, we, we haven't had like anyone from the from Green Party on... Here. James, we haven't had anyone from the Green Party on the platform either because you've got m more courage yeah, than they have. You, eh? They've, they've cancelled you. Yeah, it's hilarious. And you see, that's why I'll give you some time and I'll listen to you. And we may not agree, but we can have yeah, the conversation. Um, yeah, so did you yeah. get arrested yesterday, James? No, I wasn't one of the ones. Okay, how is the team feeling? Because it sounds like the police are going to go hard, mate. They're sick of it. People are disappointed. that The government, you know, the police overreach is, is extreme. We think it's just bullying tactics, really. I mean, 14 years... I would, I would like to think even you'd think that was an extreme response, but if you'd like to see me... Lock if up you're a recidivist defender, James, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Well, I guess that's where we're at. And it's not like you're protesting apartheid, mate. 
Well, we are protesting the biggest tragedy that humanity will ever see. What's I mean, that? We've got a government. Sorry, what's just, that? That there isn't. Just, uh, a, there aren't more trains. Uh, restoring passenger rail is a small step. I admit it in terms of reducing um, our emissions and reducing the cost of living, as is, as is um, free public transport. But the government won't even do that. That's a small step they could take. They mm. won't even do it. Why won't they do it? It's hugely popular. It doesn't cost that much money. Because they're representative they of the views it. of the New Zealand public who aren't quite no, as worried no, as you not. are. Yeah, it's no, called a democracy. It's called MMP. Want, most people want these things to happen. No, they don't, most James. Most people want these things to happen. Most people they couldn't got, get they, the they, flying they, rats. They would have won a first past the post election this time round. They could have done it, and that's what they promised to do, and they haven't done it. They haven't. Our emissions are still going up in the transport sector, and yeah, I mean, I, I get it. You don't believe in climate change, so I don't no, want to I get believe into the climate changes. I just don't believe that New Zealand doing anything or it's, stopping, you know, uh, well, making dairy and stuff is going to make a blind difference, James. And the, you know, ninety seven percent. Of greenhouse gases are naturally occurring, not made by men. Man, so I just don't don't see the logic of it, mate. Right. So you don't think that humans can do anything to ch to, to change? No, it? largely no. We're largely at the uh, ebb and flow of old Mother Nature, which is way more powerful than we are. Well, I accept that that's your opinion. I, you mean, I mean, you're wrong, but you know, you could say the same to me. So yeah, I don't. Yeah, want that's to really right. Down that rabbit hole. But what I do when I want to impose, well, we can agree that we're wrong, James. But I don't go and interfere with your life to say and impose the view that I'm right on you. I don't go and spread. I don't go and spread ta carpet tax and cycle lanes, mate. Carpet tax and oh right, right. <laughs> would you really want? Would you really want to stop? Well, it's the equivalent. That would be road. that would be the mirror equivalent of what you guys do. Well, if you believe though that the cycle that that cyclists were going to bring about the deaths of millions of people, cause mass migration and be the biggest tragedy. No, they don't. They just seen. annoy then me. I've been, I've the lycra annoys me. <laughs> James, it just seems to be, I'm sure you're a very genuine person and I'm sure the people that you protest, whether it's at the stage of their lives where they think they can change the world by supergluing themselves to a motorway. Um, but I also hope you realise that at some stage people can smile and wave at you and think that's right, you know, we're all God's creatures. But when you really start to interfere with people's lives, society collectively has a set of rules that will pass judgment on you and extract, you know, a price from you for that. As they, I do, we do understand that, as they did with the... Um with the uh, suffragettes, and, and now today we have a, a light, you know, a traffic light with Kate Shepherd on it. Now I'd hate my ugly mug to be. Yeah, there and, like and we got a government you know, and a media that support. Geez, isn't it funny you brought that? And we got a government and a media and a woke media that support beating women up for just speaking in public places. Um, ah, uh, well, I won't get into that. Why not? I mean, because that whole debate is um, a really great thing for the power, those in power in this country, the powerful, you know, for the for those who are privileged in this country. Because that whole debate who, who is are they? two of our oppressed. Who are the privileged? Oh, any, <laughs> the privileged? Oh, well, old, old white buggers like you and me, really. What? You know, I mean, that, that what we're doing is pitting two of our most oppressed communities against each other, our trans... Um, brothers and sisters and others, and our and our women who are, are an oppressed um, people in this country as well, who still don't have pay equity. What do you mean? You know? I'm so pitting, I mean, what do you I mean? I'm pitting them against debate. each other. I don't other. want to see them pitted against each Jones, other. Who's doing that though? Not, How's the white man doing that? Not, well, all I'm saying is by by fanning the flames of that of that um, debate and that discussion, I think there's some really important, genuine discussions to be had, but there's a lot of inflammatory stuff on both sides, and I don't want to really... Okay. Know, I'm here to talk about that. Okay, James, so the four of you are arrested, are your... Are your look com after each other. Yeah. Are your compadres in custody, or have they been released on bail? They've been released on bail. Okay, and when are they... And are they going to plead not guilty to whatever it is they get charged with? Oh, that, I hope so. I think they should, but it's up to them. It's up to each individual, you know. There's... You know, obviously, if they, if they plead guilty, they might let it be let off with a lesser charge or something, but that's all, yeah. that's all details for the lawyers. 
OK, and can I ask you, are you going to do it again soon or at least give us a heads up so we can make other plans? Um, I really wouldn't be surprised if people did it again soon. You know, the, the government's just done this climate policy bonfire. It's a kick in the guts to the New Zealand people. And when they tell you that they can't deal with the climate change and the cost of living at the same time, it's a lie. They can deal with both. So, yeah, people are really upset. They, they know that they, need gov that they need change. They're desperate. I wouldn't be surprised if they did it again. Yeah. All right, James, I thank you very much indeed again for your time and I'm always happy when someone, even those I disagree with, will come on on, on the platform and at least box their corner, and I mean that in a non-violent way. Yeah, great. Thank you, Sean. Yeah, yeah. appreciate it. James Cockle from the group Restore Passenger Rail.